Welcome to a lesson on determining if two triangles are congruent. The goals are to review the ways to prove two triangles are congruent and then identify congruent triangles. Two triangles are congruent if and only if corresponding angles and sides are congruent as we see marked here. It's important that when we identify congruent triangles that the vertices are listed in corresponding order. So if we identify this triangle as triangle ABC, it would be congruent to triangle M and O because vertex A corresponds to vertex M, vertex B corresponds to vertex N, and vertex C corresponds to vertex O. When referring to corresponding parts of congruent triangles, it is called corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or CPCTC. Now remember from the previous video there are four postulates that can be used to verify two triangles congruent. We have the side 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 postulate, side angle side postulate, angle side angle postulate, and angle angle side postulate. And notice that side side angle and angle 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 cannot be used to determine congruent triangles. So let's take a look at our examples. Here we're given a sketch and we want to determine if the triangles are congruent and if they are, give the reason and then state a congruence statement. So notice that, so notice that we're given that segment AB is congruent to segment DE and they're also parallel. So if these two segments are parallel, notice that BD and AE would be transversals. And therefore we know that the alternate interior angles would have to be congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle E and angle B is congruent to angle D. So looking at the information that we have, notice we have angle side angle and angle side angle in both of these triangles and therefore by angle side angle triangle ABC would be congruent to the triangle on the right and again we need to make sure we list these vertices in the corresponding order. So notice that angle A corresponds to angle E so vertex A corresponds to vertex E. Angle B corresponds to angle D so vertex B corresponds to vertex D and vertex C corresponds to itself. Let's take a look at another one. Same question, different information. Here we're given that AB is congruent to DE. Let's go ahead and mark that. And we're also given that C, and we're also given that C is the midpoint of segment AE and segment DB. Well here's segment AE, so if C is the midpoint, AC is congruent to CE. And if C is the midpoint of segment BD, then BC would be congruent to CD. So by side, 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 these two triangles are congruent. So we have triangle, let's say ABC. And then again, let's make sure that we list the other triangle so that the vertices correspond. So A would correspond to E. Notice how angle E, notice how angle E is formed by the two sides with one hash mark and two hash marks. The same with angle A. For vertex B, we have angle B formed by the two sides with one hash mark and three hash marks. So vertex B corresponds to vertex D. And then vertex C corresponds to vertex C. Same question, different diagram. Notice the only information we're given here is segment AB is congruent to segment BC and segment AE is congruent to segment CD. Now these two intersecting segments do form vertical angles, so we could conclude that angle ABE is congruent to angle CBD, but notice we have side side angle, side side angle or angle side side does not fit one of the four postulates and therefore we cannot conclude that these are congruent triangles. 
So by the given information, we cannot conclude that these are congruent triangles. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Notice we're given two pair of congruent sides, and then both triangles share side BD, and of course it's congruent to itself. So by side, 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 these two triangles would be congruent. So we'll say triangle ABD be congruent to triangle A corresponds to C, of course B corresponds to itself, and D corresponds to itself. And we're going to stop here for this video. I hope you found these examples helpful.